Hi again. This problem I call it deja vu because it's the same problem that we solved before, but this time we're going to be using tables for deflection or rotation, no matter what. But we're going to use it for deflection. So what is our main objective? I know that the formation of these will be something like that. And then we're going to get the primary structure and we're going to get the virtual structure. The primary structure for us it's going to be just a cantilever choosing the redundant, the same one that we did before, B, using BY as a redundant. So basically, if I have this one here, this is going to happen, and this is going to be called delta B. And then when I push this up, this is going to be my force P pushing it up. In my case, it's going to be a force of 1, and because this is fixed here, it's going to do something, oops, too much like that and we call this FBB. Now these values are really easy to compute using the tables. What tables you mean? Well the tables that you have in the back of the books. You see in the books here that you every structural analysis book you have these type of tables. You have these type of tables here for every one of the the cases that you have. The other book, this type of table. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, that's so complicated to do. What is the idea? The idea is that my total deformation is going to be this delta B plus this coefficient FBB multiplied by BY. And from here, I solve for BY. Uh, negative delta B divided by FBB. What is this deformation? First, look at that. This is what we have. In our case, x is 15, because I want the deformation exactly here. This is x, this is x15 here, and l is 20. What is going to be my deformation at x equal? And if you want to use rotation, you can. But I'm going to use this uh, equation for uh, deflection, for this one here. Deflection. The equation is deflection here deflection here, deflection here is going to be equal negative W divided by 24EI. I'm just following this, okay? x to the 4 minus 4L x to the 3rd plus 6L squared x squared. This is the equation. Now, once again, in our case, L is 20, 20, the total length, the total length, 20. X is the point where you want to calculate the deformation, which in this case is X is 15. And that's basically it. So once you put these together, you're going to get your deformation, deflection for that part is going to be equal to negative 6679.69 divided by EI. And this is what we call delta B. There you go. All that thing that we did with virtual work and everything else, we could have done it if your professor is nice enough, which I am not, to let you use that. Now, the other chart, where is the other chart? The other chart is this one. This one, because look what you have here. What you have here is basically a cantilever beam with a force pointing it up in this direction. Now. That resembles a lot to this one, but the load is applied from the top. Well, if the load is applied from the top, I know the deflection is going to come down, but if the load is applied from the bottom, the deflection is going to go up as I have it there. Now, what is this? This is the beam. But after this point, in my primary beam, there's nothing else. So this is just this here hanging around over there. And nothing's happening there. So basically I can use the same equation that I use, uh, which is this equation. But x is going to be 15. And l is going to be 15 also, if I use this equation. So if I use this equation, be careful, that's the only thing that you have to be careful. Your FBB is going to be equal to B, and it's going to be equal to P, which is 1. I'm going to put the equation first. 
EI x to the third I'm just copying guys I'm just copying this x to the third minus 3 L x squared important thing here I could care less about this little part here because I'm not calculating anything I'm gonna consider that my beam ends right there where the load is applied and that means that L is 15 and X is 15 so if I use that I'm going to get 1125 divided by EI supposed to be negative but remember I'm pushing it up in this case I was pushing it down so I keep it positive now if we use the other textbook another famous textbook uh, the equation is a little bit more complicated but more complete I would say this is the equation you see and then when you go here you have to understand what this table is telling you we still want to calculate the deflection at x but then we have the location of the load as a and the total distance as L. If we use this table, this chart, this distance will be 20. 20, here, 20, that distance. A will be 15, but X will be also 15 because I want to calculate the deflection on top of that. And you can use either this one or this one. It's the same thing. So if you do it like that, you're gonna get the same exact result as this one and now what do you have to do calculate by and by is going to be equal to what by is going to be equal to 6679.69 divided by 1125 ei and ei cancel each other out and now we have 6679.69 divided by 1125 5.94 keep once you have this, plug it in back, calculate the rest, do a statics, draw your shear moment diagram, and problem is completed. This has been my deja vu problem using tables. See you later, guys. Keep watching. Stay safe.